Hi YouTube family, Facebook family, biological family, and friends. And hello new acquaintances. I'm Carol Cortez on assignment and that's called Mission Possible to bless us all with information, both you and me. Welcome to AHEAD. That's an acronym for Achievers, Happy, Encouraged, Accomplished, and Determined. That's who I am, and I pray and trust that's who you are also. God says that when we're faithful and confess our sins to one another, someone that's trustworthy, someone that you know that will encourage you and not discourage you, someone that will um, tell you the right ways of of doing and being as opposed to criticizing you. He said that once we uh, confess our sins to one another and humble ourselves before him, a holy and righteous God, that he would forgive us our sins. And so, you know, I share that with you because that's the road way I've taken many a times and God has blessed me. And I just want you to be encouraged because I want you to know he'll bless you too. No sin is too great except for the blaspheming of the Holy Ghost. Um, but I definitely would encourage you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Um, the scripture tells us that if you were to believe in your heart, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Christ is uh, your Savior, that you will be saved. And of course, you need to get baptized and you need to live a holy and righteous life. You know, no one's perfect, so don't think if you make a mistake or, or uh, make a bad choice that all of a sudden you've lost your salvation. Just repent of your sin and, and, and he is faithful. He says that he is faithful to forgive us of our sins. So, I say these things because God has blessed me and blessed me abundantly despite the ups and downs of my life, the choices that were not good at all. Um, and I repented and I thank him that he was uh, kind to forgive me of my sins. So I say these things because I want you to be encouraged to know that there's a God waiting for you. He is waiting. He is waiting to hear from you. You know, if you're depressed, if you're sad, give your troubles to him. The, the word of God, the Bible says, um, cast your cares upon God, He for he cares for you. Cast your cares upon him. Say, God, I can't handle this. I'm giving it to you. Please help me take it. Turn this thing around. Work it out for my favor, Lord. And in it all, please be glorified. And I pray that I will remember to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praises. Because it's you who will bring me through all of the challenges that I have in my life. And 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 be it as earnest as you are for yourself, be as earnest like that for others and for this nation that we live in. You know, it's, it's like if you care about what's going on in this world and in this country, the United States, humble yourself before God. Ask him to help. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help your loved ones. There is no request that God cannot fulfill that will bless you and honor him. So, I wanna say please, I know he's been good to me and I've seen many others that he is good to. Give God a chance to be good to you. I've said this repeatedly and I will say it again. I love the scripture that says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I will add to it another scripture where it says his mercies endure for forever. And as you humble yourself and repent from your sins and any bad ways, read the Bible. See what a holy, righteous, and awesome God, an all-knowing God, an all powerful God, all forgiving God has to say 
the Old Testament talks about people of yesteryears, but it's lessons in there to tell you about the holy and righteous God that loves you and wants you to give him an opportunity to love you even more. And trust me, as you let him love you, you will feel his presence. You will feel his love. You will see how he will shower you with blessings. All of us want blessings. We all want them. But the question is, just like a job, you have to go to get paid. You have to go and do the work. You can't just expect to get paid and you don't go to the job and do the work. <laughs> what kind of joke is that? Nonetheless, God wants you to walk in his holiness, his righteousness. And we can't do it in ourselves. But through Christ Jesus, we can do all things but fail. All, all, A-L-L. -L. God wants to bless us and bless us abundantly. So, aim to reach out to a God that loves you more than you love yourself, more than your mother loves you, your father loves you, your husband loves you, your sister loves you, your wife loves you. No one can love you more than him. No one. Surprise. So if you're sad, if you're depressed, go to him. Ask him to take the burdens away and roll out the solutions for you and bless you and bless you abundantly and he will it might not be as the scripture says he may not come when you want him but he is always on time he's an on time god i'm a living witness there are so many things i wanted in life uh so many situations i wanted in life and he gave it to me in the appropriate timing there's always seed time and harvest time it's not always going to be seed time and it's not always going to be harvest time there's not always going to be winter there's not always going to be summer there's not always going to be spring there's a time for everything under the sun it's in the book of proverbs that i mentioned earlier king solomon one of the wisest men he, he penned the Proverbs. He wrote down his thoughts and they were to bless us and bless us abundantly. Take the time out and read it. Apply it to your life. Just don't read it. Apply it to your life. The word says that we should be a doer of the word and not just a hearer of the word. And when you come upon someone with wisdom and understanding, especially pastors, evangelists, bishops, those who are walking in true holiness, open your ears to them. Listen to them. Really listen. Open your mind to really receive what they're sharing with you. And hope, open your heart to receive wisdom and understanding. It will only bless you and bless your life so that you can honor and glorify God and bless others with the wisdom and understanding. So I thank you for checking in with me. I ask that you please, if you would, click on subscribe, that little red button that says subscribe. Press it, press it, press it, the little red button, press it. <laughs> and select thumbs up, that you like it, please. Let's let YouTube know that there's an audience for conversations and and wisdom shared about God. Let's let them know. Share this information with other people. Click on that little button that says share, that little arrow that says share, and share it with five people, seven people, ten people. Share it with all the people that you can. They talk about viral. Forget about viral. Let's do the work that Christ told us to do. Go out into all the world. And if this little information can help somebody, don't just click and look for yourself. Share it with somebody else. That's our job. That's our one of our that's our great commission to share the word with with others that they would be encouraged, that they would be enlightened, that they would be 
fired up for Christ. <laughs> I'm fired up and I'm hoping that you feel the fire. Feel the fire. <laughs> feel the fire. Oh, get excited. Not just for yourself. Get exciting that it will bless somebody else too. And if you would, leave me your comments, your questions, your suggestions. I'm only human. I can be encouraged too by you. Please, por favor, please encourage me too. I don't do this for any glory or recognition. Mm -mm. To God be the glory. I tell people over and over again, it's all about Jesus or it's all about nothing. If you read the scriptures, you'll read that Jesus, he came down from his throne to make a pathway for us to be able to reach out to a holy God, even though we are sinners, that we can use his pathway that he made for us to reach out to a holy God that can help us and see us through the challenges of life. That's why I do this. So if you would, leave, your, leave me your comments and your questions and your suggestions. Encourage me to please please no one is made of stone and no one has all the answers and I confess I don't so leave me your comments and questions and suggestions and check on my YouTube channel I have many different broadcasts covering different subjects with various guests I try to make it interesting for you I try to give you all different perspectives and points of view so that you can grab hold to the to the wonderful journey of living a life for God oh it is so wonderful I have made my bad decisions in life I have made some mistakes but when I get got committed ah the joy that God rolled out to me and I want it for you too not that I'll know about it but hey if you know about it that's good enough for me so, please, if you would, click like. Let YouTube know that you like this kind of information. Click subscribe. Be a subscriber to my YouTube channel and ring the notification bell. There's three different bells that'll show up. Ring the one that's solid. That means you want as many broadcasts as you can get as I release them. Share this information, please. Don't keep it to yourself. Love is something you give out. Not it's a, You don't just keep it to yourself. You give it out. Give it out freely. Share this information with other people. Five, I challenge you. Ten more. Share it with them. Let them be blessed too. Let them be encouraged too. Let them know that there is a God that's waiting to love them like no one else could ever love them. And I ask that you please stay blessed, stay encouraged, and stay in touch with me. Keep on watching my broadcast. Don't let life sidetrack you and you forget that I'm here still waiting for you to check in and watch my broadcast. Stay blessed, stay encouraged, and stay in touch with me. And I will talk with you soon. In the meantime, tell at least seven, ten, or more people about this YouTube channel. And I'll talk to you real soon. Stay blessed.